you don't have to do this. You've already got all you got to do is shoot a ball into a hoop. That's it. Well, he can't shoot a ball with who he can lay it up and dunk it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's be real with you. Uh, what's going on with John Moran? Because we, well, I guess we had a discussion about him being, you know, in the league long term. Because we we said he, his body may not hold up because he's a slasher. He go to the hole, get hit, <laughs> get hit a lot. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> and see, I was ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I'm ready for it. But, like I was the same guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> but but what is what do you think is going on with him? Is he just is he having fun, having too much fun? Is he who he who we thought he was? Does he have the wrong people around him? Brandon, keep going. I want to find something real quick. Keep going. Real okay. Quick. Because you do remember Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson kind of remind me of John Moran. Ah, uh, that's two they two. But, but listen, yes, different. but I, I'm 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 telling you, I was thinking maybe they were on the same lines and he was gonna be all right. But the things he's done recently, it's just it don't even make any sense. AI never never did anything like this. And is John Morant suffering from what a lot of millennials are suffering from? Trying to be too real, trying to, you know, you gotta appease the hood over. What you, what you got going on? Because you can he can impact a lot of people's lives in Memphis. You know his family, all that kind of stuff. His friends, but he can blow everything. Go ahead, I'll let you go. Mike, before I give you an answer, check it out. When I know something about you, you went to Cranbrook. That's a private school. This guy's a gangster. His real name is Clarence. Clarence is the host of Clarence. There you go. <laughs> Ain't that him? Right, that's him. And like I said, I know his father was in his life, and his father is still in his life, you know, in a certain capacity. But live right next, stay next door. But that's, was, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so what? What is the issue? You it's like I said, you went to man. a pr- private school. Hmm? It's social media, and he probably figure figure out. I went to a uh, a lower grade college. Mm-hmm. I was drafted number th- two. I was drafted number two. And man, I'm the the biggest thing going in the NBA. They just gave right. me two hundred million dollars. Half of go get tax. Uh, they just gave me a shoe deal. I got but, this. But didn't they do LeBron the same same way? Like they gave him a bunch of money. He was feeling himself. He was King James. He didn't, Brandon, don't disrespect LeBron like that. But I'm but I'm saying he LeBron could have did the same thing, right? He could have been flashing guns. Is it is LeBron just smarter in that way of marketing? He's like, look, I'm not about to mess my brand up trying to be something that I'm not. I'm not saying he isn't this, but why do this? LeBron was on a mission. It's it seems like uh John Morant is not on a mission anymore. He just yeah. obviously you know who he is. You know exactly who he is. He's a, a 23-year-old, 24-year-old kid with a whole bunch of money and a, but, and, and a job. But he's a business, too. Like, shouldn't there be people around him? He, like, his, his own dad is in his life. He'd be like, look, son, we, we about to mess up. You don't need to be pulling no guns on people at a party or doing live streams showing guns and for the for past. what you in the NBA? What what you mean? I can say if he was a rapper, does he want to be a rapper? For the for the past thousands of years, young man age from eighteen to twenty five don't listen to nothing they dad say. Correct. Every single one of them, most of them. But you you know what he's saying, and it's ingrained in you still, whether you want to listen or not. And you've made it. You've overcome. Whatever. I mean, I'm not saying he had a lot of obstacles because I didn't know he went to a private school. I know his dad was in his life, but you don't have to do this. You've already got all you got to do is shoot a ball into a hoop. That's it. Well, he can't shoot a ball in a hoop. He can lay it up and dunk it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's be real with you. You Good know, point. and cocking it back like this in my hand, brother. Uh huh. If if this w- if this was in the 80s or the 90s. They killed this man if he's hand <laughs> way back like this. His shoulder be ripped out. Right, right, right. But you know, we play, he plays in a different era. So he can get a lot, he can get away with a lot of stuff. He getting a lot of calls. I don't even know if it's fouls most of the time, but he got it made. Like I say, the NBA needs him. They want him, but the way he's been carrying himself lately, they they about to be. I think the latest thing was he was suspended indefinitely or had to leave the team indefinitely. So 
why doing this would get you why doing this would get you that much trouble Brandon? right why because like we talked about the other day can you show guns i mean that's it's not the look wrong at this that, photo right? right you can do that right these presidents ain't it mm-hmm. except for one of them was a governor why they can show the guns and he can't show the gun <laughs> The same same reason they had a hard time with Allen Iverson when he had cornrows in his hair. He was he was dressing baggy. The NBA they want a certain image because they are a business and they're trying to sell and expand and have different uh, their games on different channels and stuff like that. So that kind of stuff does matter. Well, I can say this about John Morant. Now I was going to defend him showing this because hey, what you don't know about this this the gun he got mm-hmm. he, this ain't no killer gun. <laughs> this is a guy. This is a guy. You. Only so, what kind of gun is that, by the way? Because I don't well, know. I, I can't. I, I was in mm, this gun with, size this, wise. Mm-hmm. It's probably a 380. Yeah, it's that's probably what I was like a small bodyguard, but a little cheap. That's what it looked like. <laughs> this gun is made. If you can smell somebody's breath, you can hit them with this gun. If it ain't pass the breath, you ain't You're not hit gonna... them. <laughs> you ain't gonna hit them. You know, unless it's like a side of a house or something. So. This, in reality, if he's showing this, this this ain't to me. This ain't the problem because I know guns. Right. This is a person. It's like a pocket knife almost. Yeah, it's this like... person is right here, <laughs> and he got that money. But when he done, when he did, he started doing this stuff. Right now, hey, you saw you saw uh, Young Thug. They doing those little signs and people. What grown man rub hands like that with another grown man? I know they ain't gonna like me for saying that, Brandon. But Brandon, have me, me and you ever rubbed? <laughs> no, we ain't did all that. <laughs> like oh, <laughs> man, I ain't rub you jacking off with your hands. I ain't rubbing your hands. <laughs> right, but it's something that young people do, and they think it's cool. You know, we're older. You can just give somebody a dap, and that'd be it. You know, Birdman was doing this when he was forty-eight, <laughs> and then kiss him. Oh, right, you know right. Mean? But hey, those things, those game size, while he started doing that stuff like that, he ain't mm-hmm. he ain't deaf. You don't know no sign language. Right. And so, then he pointed a, a laser at the pacers and had them running on the bus. I don't think they they were saying it was part of a gun, but they, they wasn't sure. It was a green laser. Man, he did Jesus. Man. He about Ooh. he about to blow it. Yeah, he about yeah, you right. You Ooh, well, we'll follow them. That fake jewelry, well, that jewelry, that <laughs> worthless jewelry right there. With <laughs> well, them diamonds. That, <laughs> that, big, that big old house that could probably cost you $800, $800,000 mm-hmm. $800, a year just to upkeep. Right. A million can, a year. <laughs> and can't the NBA kind of, I'm not saying they can cancel his contract, but is there a way that he can lose his money? Brandon, you know good and well in entertainment business, anyone with any black guy, you can get they get you right can't do it. Head. You can't right. cancel you the can't. contract <laughs> right. for some reason, but they always can't. <laughs> and it's funny how that works. <laughs> <laughs> They'll tear it up, be like, now nah, we ain't doing it, we ain't paying you no more, you know. Yeah, they always can. So hey, he and I he didn't get the 200 million yet. That's next year, right? I can't remember whether you know, well, I know he he's guaranteed something. Well, no, I'm not sure. I we I guess we gotta look into that before we sp- uh, speak on it. But see, if it's next year, that means the Grizzlies really liked you, man. Because mm-hmm. yeah. they 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 treat you they they treat you like a white player. They sign they they sign you. They up went quick. ahead and did right. <laughs> they <laughs> wait till the last minute. <laughs> right, right. Because they know they they invested in him. They like look, we got a star. We can really make something happen. But not if you're gonna do this. Yeah, he got he well man. See, with these young kids, man, it's some it's something wrong. It's something wrong with them. Like a 17 year old was at his this John's house and they get in a scuffle. Right. Then John punch him in the face of going to the house and pull a gun on a 17 year old kid. But let me ask you something. If you're because he's like 22, I guess, right? Uh-huh. 24, I, 23, 24. I don't, I don't want to be having no party with no 17 year olds over at my house playing basketball. Cause that means it probably be some seventeen year old girls or sixteen year old girls or, like it's just gonna be too weird. Like I, I I'm not trying to have all that that money and have these parties where we got young under. I'm not gonna say underage, but if you're under twenty one, you don't need to be at, at no party like that anyway. 
You are correct. His father should have said, son, if you want to throw a pickup game, let's rent out a public gym right. and screen the people who's coming in there. Right. Like, what kind of person you have on your field and this person would bow up in your face? Mm -hmm. And and you about to be, you could be on paper a billion dollar man. Durant, Durant, you could billion dollar man. Mm -hmm. 